Hey, it's Chris. Now, despite what you guys might think, based on the appearance in my videos, my desk and my workspace, they're not what you would always call necessarily, what's the word? Clean or organized or uncluttered, if you will. Now, is that my fault? Well, who's to say, really? Okay, actually, it's my fault, it's my own fault. But here's the thing, as a tech reviewer, stuff easily accumulates because products come and boxes come and the boxes of the products, they just kind of accumulate as I rip into things and toss the boxes aside, instructions, cords, you name it. Look, I hate to even show you guys, <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to, what the wall next to my desk, underneath my desk, has been looking like for the past little bit. But I guess I will. Ah, <laughs> look away, it's hideous. Man, look at all this stuff. Boxes, stuff I've reviewed, stuff I've featured, audio equipment, a can of air, lots and lots of iPhone cases, an old speaker, one of my old Apple watches, the watch edition, nonetheless, that's a keeper, multiple magic mice, <laughs> lenses of all kinds, just different review units the companies have sent, a ridiculous amount of keyboards, some old hard drives, and cords, cords upon cords upon cords old Apple watch bands, <laughs> just the list goes on. <laughs> I mean, this happens every now and then. Things get kind of crazy and then I clean it up and then I think to myself, maybe you do this, no matter what, I'm gonna keep it nice and organized. But then life happens and work happens and people send new products and those products get ripped into and the boxes start flying and instructions and cords and before you know it, it's back to looking like that again. My wife hates it. She has told me many times, clean stuff up. In fact, she couldn't understand why I was cleaning it up today, but I was like, well, I'm making a movie about it. She was like, what? And I was like, yeah, but that's the whole thing. I was cleaning up because I had to, and I figured as long as I had to, then maybe I'd make a video about it. That's just how it worked out. Who would watch that in their right mind? I don't know, but here we are anyways. All right, so I don't know if this is part cleanup vlog or a documentary or a desk setup video. Maybe it's a little bit of all of those. But step number one was the cleanup. So here's how it went down. First and foremost, I popped in the AirPods and I put on some music. Then I put everything that was on the floor and my nearby movable shelves up on the desk so I could kind of take inventory. I gotta say, I didn't want to do this, but it felt really good to get that floor area all cleaned up. It's like the clutter had been building and it was sort of like sucking the soul right out of me. <laughs> I will say though, I looked at my surge protector area and I kind of stuck a pin in that and I wasn't quite sure if I was gonna tackle that one today or not. So, you guys remember this old death setup video where I had all the cords like neatly organized with cord drops and I had a bucket for the surge protector and everything. That's all gone now. Oh man, during this cleanup, I unearthed all kinds of stuff. I found the old section of the set that I would cut out from the original set where I kept track of all the first 1,000 subscribers. But I don't know where to put it. It's just been buried with all this stuff. So I don't know, that's going back in storage. Now, I did decide to just get rid of a few things while I was at it. One of my favorite things is this hand sculpture, this pencil holder, which I've always liked but I don't write with pens all that much anymore, even though I do love this brass pen that I got from Huckberry forever ago. And I also really loved the coffee beans that I would stick in there because the coffee bean smell would just be mm, motivating or I don't know, I guess it just smelled good. But still, the only problem is now I don't know where to put my paper clips. Now, after I categorized all that stuff, then I just decided to give my monitor and my accessories a good wipe down and a dusting because dang, there is something about this office that just attracts a ton of dust. Just like a buttload of dust. I hate it. Even the stuff on the walls. I had to dust the moose and the MoMA calendar, which trivia fact, that calendar is actually set to the very first date that I ever uploaded a YouTube video. Now at this point, I'm looking around the office and I remember there's this old neglected plant that I haven't been keeping alive. <laughs> I think that Dwight's been keeping that alive. It's like Dwight 
on the office. Dwight leaves, all the plants die. I don't know, this plant is still alive somehow, and I decided I was gonna take it from its current home and place it over by the desk just to kind of green it up, get some nature over in the work corner. And I'm not gonna lie, I really like it over there. You guys remember the old series that I used to do where I would show people's desk setups and somebody had some really great plants and I was like, yeah, I should do that sometime, but I never did. Now for the main stuff on my desk, I've more or less decided just to keep things where they'd been. So the 49 inch super ultra wide, that went smack right in the middle of the desk again. And then for the time being, I'm just gonna keep this 16 inch MacBook Pro over off in the corner, cause that's a good place for it. It's just nice and out of the way. And then I got rid of this old backup drive that just been sitting around, it just kinda taking up some space and I hadn't really been using it for quite a while. See, that's the thing right there. How many videos has that very drive been in <laughs> and I haven't even been using it for, I don't know, like six months or something at this point. Now for a long time, I had this really great headphone stand from Grove Made, which I actually really recommend, but I have the Beat Solo Pros as my current set of noise canceling headphones, and when you open them, they turn on. So I can't open them and then set them on the headphone stand because it would just drain the battery. So I can't use that, so just stuff like that. It's gotta go. So for now, I think the Beat Solo Pros, they're just gonna live right on top of the MacBook there. That's okay, it looks good. It's not hurting anything. One thing that I'm definitely keeping though is my spiral lamp. I love that thing and people ask about it all the time. It's probably the most asked about thing. Don't worry, I'm gonna link it up down in the description for you so you can go check it out. You can get one for yourself. But I like to be surrounded by creativity and so that's why I don't have just a regular plain old desk lamp. I wanted something a little different, help me think a little bit differently. I don't know if you knew this. You probably didn't, because you never <laughs> heard me talk about this lamp before. But it's dimmable, though. There's just one button, and you can hold it down, and it will get brighter or dimmer. It's really great, depending on what time of the day you're actually getting some work done. Now, speaking of creativity, I thought this is the perfect time to pick some new art for the digital art frame from Mural that I've got over to the left of my desk there on the wall. And fortunately, a brand new batch of art just dropped in the membership section called Chaotic atmospheres in the app, so I picked one of those, and actually I'll probably just make a playlist out of it. You can set a playlist of your art with this frame, and I like all of those, so I wanna see them rotating throughout the day. I also plugged back in my carved mini wooden wireless charger, cause it just looks so great, and it's useful. I couldn't get rid of that. It's the perfect size for my AirPods, so it got to stay. And then, since I recently discovered my favorite screensaver app, Ficlo, had an iPad app now, I got the idea to use my iPad mini as a digital flip clock right on my desk. And actually I messed around with it, like I did with a lot of stuff, like where should it be placed, I put it over by the plant, put it on the left side, but ultimately I ended up situating it over on the right corner of my desk so that it could hide the clutter from my charging ports. At least from my point of view when I'm sitting in my chair there, so perfect. There's something about that clock. I like having it there, I like having it on because it's so obvious when the time changes, when a minute flips up and you really know, you get a sense of how fast the day is moving and you gotta get some stuff done. And then I also stashed my 12 South high rise wireless charger right over next to it because ultimately I just wanted a place where the cord could kinda go out the back and not be strewn all across the desk. Strewn, you like that? And that brings me to an important part of this setup. You could almost say the heart of this setup, and that is the iPad, my keyboard, my trackpad, and my mouse. What now? Why are you using a mouse and a trackpad at the same time, Chris? Have you lost it? Well, no I haven't, and I'm glad you asked. It's just because I'm having some fun with this dual hybrid setup that I got going on with the MacBook Pro and the iPad Pro, and just being able to switch between the two whenever I want. Because look, some things I just prefer to do on the iPad, and other things I still prefer to do on the Mac. And so the MX keys here from Logitech, I'll link them up, they make it so easy to just switch between the two whenever I want, just at the flick of a button. Now, I'm actually planning on making a whole separate video on that dual hybrid setup, so make sure you're subscribed if you wanna see that. But I'll talk more in depth about what I use each one for and which apps work best and what situations for each one. It should be pretty interesting. Unfortunately though, <laughs> where I have the iPad placed on that 12 South Compass Pro stand, there's no way to get around having that USB-C charging cord snaking around the desk. Cause I mean, you gotta charge your iPad and there's no way to hide that. 
At least, I haven't done it. I'm not going to drill holes and do crazy stuff like I've seen in other setups, right? I'm just going to have to deal with it. I should mention that as part of this cleanup here, I did pare down the actual cords that I needed. You might have been like, why didn't you do that in the first place? I'm just saying, I get so many devices and stuff, there's cords flying everywhere. So I used my label maker, I labeled the cords that I'm actually gonna be using, and I paired it down to just my camera, to a couple of hubs that I have to use, to an older USB that goes to my Zoom for podcast stuff. Just the basics, just the essentials. And that's really nice now too. Oh, and then the very final touch, after everything was all clean and organized and ready to go, I'm sure you can guess. I had to go pour myself a nice victory celebration coffee <laughs> as the final touch. Uh, it's just the icing on the cake. That was the cherry on top. And then, and only then, was the desk setup truly complete. I gotta say, after I got all cleaned up, then I got to work making the script or the outline for this video and just kind of crushing some other productivity stuff, email, uh, research, a few different projects. And I'm really liking this setup. As much as I actually hate cleaning, there's just something about mentally getting rid of the clutter that helps me be more creative and maybe even work harder or faster a little bit because it just clears out the cobwebs, not only in your office, but like in your brain so that you don't have to focus on this stuff that's just laying around and, and invading your territory. You can just get to work. That's the only thing to focus on. Now, how long is it gonna stay nice and clean and organized? That's anybody's guess. But I'm gonna do my best though, uh, try to keep it as nice and organized as I can. I will say this, you know, this is sort of a different kind of a, a video to make here to show you guys not just the perfect setup that normally a tech person would show you, but to show you sort of the real life and the behind the scenes. <laughs> Hopefully you guys weren't traumatized. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people can just relate to that. So let me know if you liked it or if you didn't, if you're too disgusted, then that's okay. You don't have to leave a comment. Uh, it'll be all right. But now at least I guess you can see through the mirage. Anytime you see my desk and it's so nice, well, I guess you won't know, right? Maybe I did keep it so nice after this video. You won't know. Or maybe lurking underneath the surface, there's all the boxes and clutter trying to peek up past the top of the desk again. I don't know. But I will end it like this, just in case you were wondering whatever became of it. Yeah, the rat's nest it's still there. And also shout out to my camera for deciding to fall over on the right side instead of the left side and didn't snap off the screen on my GH5. All right, don't forget to check out the podcast and applehype.com. It's all linked up down below. You can check me out on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Daily Tech, spelled Daily T-E-K-K -K, in both of those places. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.